Okay, so just try it again. I didn't hear it the first time. Hello? One, two, one, two, birds, zebras, animals. Ah, ah, I can hear you. All right, so are we ready to go? Do you want to recap anything? Okay, so we've got six or seven CVs, which have got really good potential. As much as we don't want to lose you, Dave, obviously you're leaving us, aren't you? So obviously your opinion matters just as much uh, when we're looking for your replacement. That's what I'm here for. Not that you'll find anyone as good as me. Let's think. What are we looking for? Excitement. Passion. An understanding of animals and their activities. An interesting voice. None of that monotonal crap. But not too funky either. An equal amount of boring and fun. And an understanding of animals, right? Right. Let's go. Good afternoon and welcome to Nature 101 Casting. Today, we are looking for one or two people to replace me in my wonderful role. You should have all received instructions with matching extracts and just remember to be you and be unique. We want you, well, some of you. Candidate A. Whenever you're ready. And here we can see some zebras grazing in the beautiful Kalahari Desert in Africa. Zebras are called as such, of course, because they look just like zebra crossings, which themselves were named after zebras. What came first, the zebra or the crossing? That is one of the most important philosophical questions of our age. And there they go, eating grass like a big zebra-shaped lawnmower. Keeping the grass so pristine and they wander around eating and continue to resemble ways to cross the road. Other animals named after road crossings, of course, include puffins and pelicans. Who would win if a zebra fought a puffin? What would happen if a zebra tried to cross the road at a puffin crossing? Well, given that there are no roads in the Kalahari, I guess that's something we'll never know. And that is the real tragedy of the destruction of biodiversity, really. Because one day there won't be enough animals left to name different types of road crossings after them. A shame. Interesting scenes here, as we can see, how one of the zebras has been left behind by the other three. Clearly a case of a rift between the zebras. Maybe he's been told what happens to zebras after they die. They get turned into tarmac to provide a safe passage for humans to cross roads. In the background, you can hear some birds. I don't know what birds they are, but they're not pelicans. Because pelicans aren't real. They were invented by Raal Dahl. God, this is fucking tedious. In interesting. Look, sometimes the first one is a bit rough. That's why they're first. Candidate B, you're up. Oh, and here we are at the Giraffe Salon. We've got our stylists today, who are Deirdre and Laura, and they're styling Helen. Deirdre, can you talk us through what you're doing today? Oh, yeah, well, what we're doing initially is providing a bit of colour to Helen's neck. This style of spots of different colours is very common amongst giraffes. Oh, steady there, Helen. <laughs> you going anywhere nice on your holidays this year? Yeah, I'm hoping to get away with Brian to Marbella. Ooh, very nice. Yes, a couple of weeks in the sun will do you the world of good. <laughs> it's good to get away, isn't it? And Laura, what are you doing? I'm just styling Helen's Mah Mohican. She's really keen on keeping that post-punk 90s look. I just apply a bit of product and then it stays nice and durable. <laughs> That'll keep you going for months, Helen. <laughs> And what's going on here, Albert? Oh, I'm doing colonoscopy for Helen. It's very common here in the Kalahari to 
for giraffes to receive treatment on various parts of their body at the same time. So I'm just shaking to make sure all is well. <laughs> it's not the most pleasant job, but I quite enjoy it actually. <laughs> Wait, that was a serious audition. That's wonderful. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. Please tell me that you're being sarcastic. Look, third time's a charm. Come on, let's open the floor to uh, candidate C. It's always the bloody same, isn't it? You park your car somewhere and you just can't find it, can you? I'm sure I left it somewhere around here. God, I got a red car so I wouldn't lose it. Or did I get a green car? Uh, I, I can't remember. Oi, back around, Phil, are you? Oh, oh, ah, sorry, it's not my fault you can't find your car. Ah, good morning, Miss Jones. Oh, hello, Vicar. Are you looking for something? Yes, I just left Josh and now I can't find my bloody car. Ah, uh, what a pain. What color is it? Blue or red? Possibly green? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Ah, uh, well, never mind. These things happen. Fancy a drink? Yes, I wouldn't mind with all this stress. Blue, is this wine? Yes, Cabernet Sauvignon, if you don't mind. Very popular amongst us, clergy. Well, definitely won't be driving home now. Might as well get chick based oh, oh, sorry, priest. Didn't see you there. Uh, don't worry about it. I just about had enough of religion. I'm all in it for the free booze now and the nice pension. Good lord, I just seen my car! Or was that just the alcohol taking effect? You know you had a car, Miss Jones. Oh, actually, how did I get here? Oh, I thought you flew. Oh yes, you're quite right! I can fly! I'm a bird! I've got wings! Well, I'm off then! Bye, Vicar! Bye, Priest! Uh, wait. Um, uh, wings, wings, ow! How did I fly again? I forgot, I'm, I'm a bit drunk. Next, next, please. Where are we up to? Candidate D. Candidate D. You're joking. Candidate D, you're next. And at last, we come to the Basin Reserve where some of the Earth's most compelling creatures find their home. Notice there's a fly in the room. Sorry. Oh fuck, he's moved. Okay, he's moved. He's out of sight, out of mind. All right. Notice the distinctive beak and delicate movements of the fucking flies back. Hold on. He's moving! Wait, there are two of them! Come on! Ugh. I promise I did my research, is it? To me, you little bastard! Come on. You can get through this. Ah! Oh, no, I can't. Every time. Every time I get an opportunity, this stupid shit happens. This is like the rats in the opera house all over again. That one might have been a dream. The point still stands. Let me pause the video. Okay. Wait. I think they've gone. I think they've gone. <sighs> all right. Okay. Let me regain my composure for a moment. <sighs> Three... Two, one, go. Notice the distinctive beak and delicate movements of this amazing avian, which, as we'll soon find out, are crucial aspects to there are three of them. I'm sure we didn't put anything like that ever, ever in the instructions. Candidate E, show us what you got. We often talk about how the natural world 
is being destroyed by humans, bringing many species mere existence to an almost existential crisis. And here we see one of the most outrageous examples of the exploitation of animals. You see, these ducks are mining for cobalt. Yes, that's right. The precious mineral you get in your iPhones was all extracted by ducks. Why ducks, I hear you ask? Well, it's simply because ducks' beaks have a special implement called the um, Maladius saxophonus, and only they, only they can access the mineral. And as a result of this, ducks are treated appallingly as big tech companies try and get their minerals. See how this adult duck buries her beak into the ground. Yeah, that's that's where the Maladia saxophonus really comes into its own. As it can it can it can break away the cobalt from other rocks and allow it to be accessed more easily. Ah, see, it doesn't look like she's had any success there. See how she scans the horizons nervously, fearing punishment from one of the people that the big tech companies sent here to watch over the ducks. The sad thing is that the ducklings are being taught how to mine too, being deprived of their childhood so they can do the dirty and unsatisfactory work that so many other ducks are forced into. And what's more, the ducks don't get paid. And if they don't mine the correct amount of cobalt, they get turned into moistened duck wraps. It's an absolute disgrace. Goodness gracious me. Last but not least. I've got a good feeling about this one. Saving the best till last. Well, let's hope so. Your time to shine, Candidate F. Please, please shine. In the wild, birds have a lot of time on their hands because things can be seriously boring. They don't have Wi-Fi, they don't have KFC, and they don't even have clocks, so they don't know how much time is passing. That's why a lot of birds have taken to magic tricks to pass the time. Watch how this blackbird is preparing his mental real ordeal for his trick. It was a false start there, maybe he's got some nerves. <gasps> Oh, he's gone! Damn, that is superb! He now looks completely different. They're calling him the David Blaine of the Bird Kingdom. Just look at the colours on his chest. You wouldn't know it was the same bird. Brilliant! Oh, I think he's going to do it again. Here he goes! Oh, my word, that is outstanding! The hours and hours spent training, the failed attempts, and the blood, sweat, and tears that go into this kind of trick really is quite remarkable. Really, if it wasn't for the high cost in flights, he could be performing on the big stages of Europe with skills like that. And you can see now, just as he laps up the applause, and boy, does he deserve it. I think we're going to hear from him now after that brilliant performance. Well, I, I totally agree with what he just said there. You can see he's going to be a big star. Okay. So. Uh... Well... All right, let's... What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, I know I said that you won't find anyone as good as me, but I thought we'd find someone. <laughs> this was a disaster. What I'm... did we just go through? I'm, um, speechless. Speechless? <laughs> I've got words. What was that? Did any of these people actually see our advert? Did they even read the instructions? I'm sorry, but what did we just watch? Please tell me you put out an advert. Did you send the instructions to the agency? Check now, please. Yes, yes, and they all confirmed receipt. How, how did this all go wrong? Right, well... We have to choose one because we've not got any time to get more auditionees. Surely, surely, 
as a way to make them. 